All right, good morning everybody. Tony here, our cabin of woods. I'm gonna do a little garden inspection, weeding, show what I got going on. It wasn't too bad in here. I just used the hoe and hoe this around a little bit, just a few weeds here and there. But uh, all of these right here are acorn squashes. There should be six plants. And they're starting to, uh, I just turned them. This one here, you can tell, was laying this direction. I just spun it the other way, so it'll start crawling up the trellis. Oh, there's a weed right there. I missed it. I'll get the outside here in a bit. And then, uh, that there's cantaloupe, 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 cantaloupe. Cucumber. And as you can see, they're starting to fall over some. So here, uh, I'm going to say in maybe two more days, three more days, I'll probably turn it towards facing the trellis. So it'll start crawling up. These are all cucumbers, six of them. So, we got rain supposed to be coming in. I don't ever trust rain. So I'm watering down the garden. All right, and then I gotta do the onions. And that's the project, the big project for the day. It's weedy. Onions are starting to pop out a little bit, so what we're gonna do is I'll show you, I start making room for them. So we need to take care of the weeds and uh, get going. All right. All right, I got the garden completely all weeded. It looks really good. So now what I do is, and I do this to all the onions every year, been doing it for, I don't know, four years now, and have no problems with it. I go and take soil that's around an onion, and I just kind of knock just a little bit of dirt away. Just a little bit. Allow them. Some of these onions are already popping up. That's good. Some of them have not. And that could be because they're in the soil too deep. So I move dirt away. And that allows them, excuse me. That allows the onion to come up and grow. And that's what I think. And it's worked real good for me. I mean, I've actually had the onion fall over and just the roots were sitting there. And at the end, they stayed growing. Everything went good. And no problem. Now, what I have had is a few years ago, um, it was really sunny and really hot. And I end up taking, um, I'm still just knocking the dirt away. I, I actually took some uh, uh, hay and put them around the onions a bit to help, there's a weed, to help uh, cover it so it doesn't burn the tan, you know, the onion itself. But uh, they're all looking good. They're all starting to grow. The onion. I know As you can see what I've done right there, make sure I'm pointing at the right spot. You can see how I move the dirt away. All over, down there. That's what I always do. That's just what I've done. I thought it would. It, that's what did it. I did that one like a week ago, right around over there somewhere, or right down there. And you can see what it looks like. I did that one too, right there. So anyway, all right. I'm gonna keep on uh, knocking this dirt away from everything, and then wet it down, and we'll go from there. All right, as you can see, I moved all the dirt, not all the dirt, I moved quite a bit of the dirt away from the onion. I've been doing this for years, and I get big onions. Last year, they weren't big, I didn't pay attention to them, I didn't play with them. They all come up probably like the size of what that red one is over there. I, mean, they just, I just didn't mess with onions, I just was busy. But this year, we're going back to where we were. There's 100 in here, there's still 100 plants in here. <clears throat> but there you go. I moved all the dirt away. I just went them down. Onions love good growing soil and I love water. So every day I'm out here, I water them once a day. And, uh, you know, by hand water them. So I water them. And if, I, if, I, if it's really hot out, I will go and hit them again at night. But they look good. I mean, they all look real good. Look at that one there. You can see them. But that's just what I do. Uh, it may be wrong. I don't know, but it works. And then here we are back over here again. 
took the weeds out, raked it all out. They're all gone. Wet it all down. And you can see they're starting to get viney. I mean, alone today, I just noticed, I think that one there just jumped a big one. That was just today. Yeah, you can see that one over there, the second one. It all looks good. All right. And what I do is, you know, if your uh, garden is too deep to reach, you can't get to the weeds, which this one is. I have this two by four. It's two foot tall. I put it right there in the middle, and I'm on one arm. And I push on it, and I leaned over, and I grab my weeds. So I don't have to step in there, nothing. I just use this as my brace. I put it down, and just push on it, and I reach over, and just like a pedal stool or a little stick to step on, you know, I mean, to hold on to. So, anyway. All right, guys. Well, that's showing you my, uh, this part of my gardens, what I've got over here. I keep, I do a lot of separating gardens. I think it keeps different insects away from other gardens or I think it's just easier to control your insect problems. I always found my viney stuff over here. It kept my other part of my garden healthier. I kept my onions separate. It all just seems like it all worked a lot better for insects everywhere. If I put them all in one spot, I had insects crawling everywhere. It was crazy. So this seems to work pretty good. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. Hey, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Tell everyone to share and uh, comment. Um, see what you think. If you do the same thing with your onions, or just leave them alone. I know a friend that he says he don't do nothing with his, and his will come out half decent. Um, I mean, when you see mine, I had 300 with the first year, I believe, 350 onions. He was shocked. He couldn't believe how many and how big they were. And, uh, but he still, he doesn't do this. I do. So, uh, it's helped me on mine. So anyway, all right, guys, subscribe, hit the bell button and give me a comment and, uh, y'all have a great day and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks. Bye.